This book is called A Little Bit of Winter, and it's written by Paul Stewart, and it's illustrated by Chris Rydell. And like many, like many good picture books, the story begins already on the end papers, where you see lots of snow, and this looks like a little island, and this looks like it's probably a pond or a lake. This looks like water that's frozen over. And here is our title page, A Little Bit of Winter, written by Paul Stewart, and the pictures or the illustrations are by Chris Rydell, and it's published by HarperCollins. Winter was coming. I will miss you, said Rabbit. Will you miss me? No, said Hedgehog. I'll miss you, said Rabbit. I know, said Hedgehog. You just told me. You are so forgetful, said Hedgehog. Forgetful, said Rabbit. Yes, said Hedgehog. I already told you why I won't miss you. Remind me, said Rabbit. I will be asleep, said Hedgehog. You don't miss your friends when you're asleep. I've written it down so you won't forget, said Hedgehog. Please save me a little bit of winter. But why? said Rabbit. Because I want to know what winter feels like, said Hedgehog. Winter is hard and white, said Rabbit. Winter is cold. But what is cold, said Hedgehog. I am cold now, cold and sleepy, he yawned. Rabbit prodded his friend. Ouch, he cried. Rabbit, said Hedgehog, it's time for me to find somewhere warm to spend the winter. Rabbit sucked his paw. I'll miss you, he said. The winter was bad that year. Snow fell, the lake turned to ice. Rabbit was warm in his burrow, but he was also hungry. And you'll see the sign behind Rabbit that says, Dear Rabbit, please save me a little bit of winter for when I wake up. Love, Hedgehog. That's the trouble with winter, said Rabbit as he hopped outside. The colder it is, the more food I want. He looked around, and the colder it is, the less food I find. There was no green grass. There was no pink clover. Rabbit had to make do with brown. Brown leaves. Brown bark. A brown acorn. Rabbit looked at the tree where Hedgehog had written his message. He dropped his acorn in surprise. The acorn rolled. It gathered snow. It turned into a small snowball. And you'll notice Rabbit had taken that bark off and now it just says, Dear Rabbit, please save me a little bit of... And then the bark had the word winter on it, but it's gone. Rabbit read the message. Oh dear, he said. A little bit of what? The wind blew icy cold. Rabbit looked down at the snowball and remembered. A little bit of winter, he said. Rabbit rolled the snowball over the snow. It grew bigger and bigger. Rabbit wrapped the snowball in leaves. They will keep the warm out. They will keep the cold in, said Rabbit. Then... I'll store it underground. Spring finally came. The sun shone. The snow melted and the lake turned back to water. Hedgehog woke up. Hedgehog, said Rabbit. Rabbit, said Hedgehog. Oh, Rabbit, said Hedgehog. You have eaten winter. 
and he's pointing to the bark where the word winter was, winter was written. No, said Rabbit. I ate the bark, but I saved winter. It's, it's in my burrow. I'll go get it. Hedgehog poked at the soft brown ball. You told me that winter was hard and white, he said. And cold, he said. Just wait, said Rabbit. He pulled off the leaves, one by one. Hedgehog stared at the snowball. It looked like winter. Hedgehog sniffed the snowball. It smelled like winter. Hedgehog grasped the snowball in his paws. Ooh! Ouch! He cried. It bit me! That, said Rabbit, is what winter feels like. Thank you for remembering, said Hedgehog. I remembered because I missed you, said Rabbit. Did you miss me? Hedgehog sighed. Oh, Rabbit, he said. And you can see that it's back to green and the lake is now water again. And this little flap is about the author and the illustrator. And this says, Paul Stewart grew up in the suburbs of South London. Since then, he has traveled the world visiting such far-reaching places as Sri Lanka, Kenya, Australia, and the United States before returning home and taking up residence as a teacher. He has written many novels and short stories for both children and adults. This is his first picture book. He lives in Brighton, England with his wife, Julie, and his two children, Joseph and Anna. And this says Chris Rydell. Chris Rydell was born in South Africa and currently works as a political cartoonist. He has illustrated and written a number of books for children from his studio in a converted coach house at the bottom of his garden. He lives with his wife, Jo, and has three children, William, Katie, and Jack, in Brighton, England.